And that is your latest weather. Well, Margaret Cho has appeared in blockbuster movies, had her own TV show, and she's been nominated for multiple Grammys. Now the always provocative comic has a new special on Showtime and a tour call. There's no I in team, but there is a Cho in Psycho or Psycho. Cho. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> my Korean name is Moran. Moran. That's my name. In my Korean name, it's the name of Kim Jong-il's production company. So that's how Asian that is. Um, I have a, a friend who's even more Asian. Her name is <laughs> <laughs> One hand is with us now. That's Good right. morning. You know, you have not changed in that you remain provocative, yeah. even in this world where, yes, political correctness should be a part of the conversation, but it yeah. can't take out the funny. Well, I think because I'm usually the um, politically correct police, because I'm a woman of color, I'm mm -hmm. feminist, I'm po politically progressive, I'm queer, so these are, I'm usually the one saying, you can't say that, so right. I get to say whatever I want to. So you get to pass. I, I shut everybody else <laughs> up. You get a jail free well. card. Yeah. <laughs> Where I play the race card, the rice card, all, all on the table, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all cards played. <laughs> and now the crazy card. Yes. Is, it the, is it you that are a little bit psycho or crazy. is it the rest of the world well though? it's the, the going crazy at the world you know there's so many things to get really frustrated about you know just the the in, insanity of police brutality the the crazy gun violence the the rising tide of violence against women from both from uh, from Cosby to Isis you know with so much stuff so there's a lot to talk about and a lot to get crazy about and Try to find healing through mm -hmm. the humor. You know, I think that's what the point is. And in fact, on tour, you want to bring some of that healing. You are going to be marrying one couple yes. per night yes. on your tour. Yes. And you're going to officiate. I'm going to officiate because I was deputized by Gavin Newsom to marry couples Aww. in City Hall. So I actually held Kim Davis's job, but unlike Kim Davis, I did the job. Oh. So I was wow. actually doing it and <laughs> yeah. um, really, I. I think it's so rewarding because I've been working towards marriage equality for so long and I long said that, you know, a, a, a country that would deny a gay man the right to bridal registry mm -hmm. is really a fascist <laughs> one. Listen, so did you have to take a class? Did you have to study, like, the rules of marriage? Did you get, get advice on how to stay married? No, you just, you just you get go, you, when, you, when you officiate yeah. a weddings, you just go and you officiate. Mm -hmm. So you just do it, and usually people mm -hmm. will have you read traditional vows, or you'll read okay. vows that they've written, or they will read vows to each other. Uh -huh. And so it's always different, but it's very rewarding. That's so I'm sweet. really pleased, yes. It's wonderful. Your I, dad was a comic, was a was a joke book writer. Yes. And I, I got to tell you, I used to collect when I was a kid the Arrow Book of Jokes and Laughs and my scholastic first book of jokes. What was it like growing up with a joke writer? Well, I could never understand it because my joke books were like totally tasteless jokes for. So my my sense of humor is much more mm -hmm. rotten than his. He's much more sophisticated than I am. But it was great because he really encouraged a literary life for me. And wow. he's very, my mother was not so excited when I told her I was 14 right. and I I said I wanted to be a comedian. She said, "Oh, maybe it's better if you just die." Oh, oh so, there's a reaction. Oh, wow. <laughs> she she really know that. Thanks, wow. mom. Yeah. Vote a cop. Well, that's what Koreans are. <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, now, we're told you have two truths and a lie yes. for us. Oh, yes. yes. And okay. we have to Go figure out it. which is the lie. Um, okay. okay. Uh, I am completely allergic to squid and octopus. Okay. okay. I can write with both hands classically ambidextrous. Okay. Oh. And even though my family has always thought we were Korean, I am actually ethnically Chinese. Oh, mm. that's, that's a hard. tough one. Wow. No. Uh, what do you think? Gee, I'm I going think, with the, you're allergic to octopus. Yeah, I think yeah, that's I the think lie. That's the I lie. think that's the lie. I think that's the lie. No, that is the truth. Oh. oh. And uh, should I tell you with uh, you tell yes. us what the lie is? The lie is that I can't write with both hands. Oh, oh. Wow. So you're in fact Chinese. Hmm. I'm actually Chinese. Chinese. I've been lying this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, did a, um, they did a study. The DNA. Of, the DNA, DNA test. Yeah. Like, study my yeah. blood. And they, they were like, hey, did you know you're... Henry Louis Gates Jr. told me that I was Chinese. Wow. wow. Interesting. So, huh. so you've got to redo your whole I have to act do for a year. Oh, yeah. I have to learn Shucks. a whole new language. It's just <laughs> But you can insult a whole new group. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so exactly. Margaret Show. Thank you. By the way, Margaret's stand-up special premieres this Friday on Showtime, and she'll be hitting the road 
on tour October 1st and marrying people all across the country. Yeah. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.